All right, guys, I am out here with Dan skating today. We're out at this little park here. I'm not sure what park this park is called. Somewhere in Long Beach. This is a warm up spot. We're going to warm up here, then we're going to go skate some other stuff. A little bit warm today. That's why my shirt's off already. I'm getting sweaty up in this. But yeah, check out the park. Cool little park here. Good warm up spot. We've got a flat bar here that's square. Some nice little ledges here. You grinded that pretty good considering it's square. This thing? Yeah. This thing's a devil. It's because it's coated in wax that it works. Woo! Squareness. Squareness. We've got this big bank here. A little quarter that goes up onto the box here. Some more little ledges you can hop around on, have some fun. A little curved boat style ledge. I don't know what you would call this. And then the hip section here, that's pretty cool too. Really mellow hips. Been trying to learn a front side big spin over here and a back side big spin. We've got this ledge up on top of the bank too, which looks like fun. But yeah, this is a warm up spot for the day. We're gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna go skate some other stuff around Long Beach. So it should make a pretty good video. Sean's out here with a fresh deck doing good nollie flips. Fresh. Can't make up his mind about his trucks. I know. Are you making them tighter or looser? Oh, tighter. Tighter. Gotta find the sweet spot. When it's cold, the stiffer. When it's warm, the looser. Yeah, but in California, the weather doesn't really change. Yeah. This is an 838, but last I had was an 85. Stepping down a size. Yeah. Which is fine. It wasn't intentional, just a shot to Neve 8.5. Evidently, there was a surplus of adults shopping there. Ooh. I don't know, Sean. Maybe you found your size. No, he didn't. I, I feel like a lot of people neglect the backside no slide. I think they're rad. Because it's yeah. a trick that you learn earlier on, and then you like, you pretty much like give them up for crooker grinds. But like to be really good at no slides, I think is sick. Like to slide long ones or do stuff with them. And I like no slides. Yeah, I learned on my, the curb outside my house. Well, there you go. That was a slap, technically a slappy no slide. Yeah, dude. When I was a kid. What happened? I just gave them up, like you said. Yeah. I didn't think they were cool. Moved on to bigger, harder drugs. <laughs> it's a gateway trick. It is. Pizza good. Think he's gonna stick on this no slide? Ooh, that was a black tar no slide. Oh, that awful looks sick. Oh my god. Yeah, 838's your move. I think Nolly front noses are easier than Nolly back noses. Yeah, because you get to see the whole time. Yeah. Nolly back nose feels more like a high Nolly. A Nolly front nose is more just like a Nolly shifty. You got too, too, too close to the Yeah, just not a little earlier. Even definitely earlier than that. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Oh, wall ride. Have you done that trick before? No, only front nose. Yeah. Never. New trick. New trick wow, unlocked. Oh, that one was even better. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gotta fine tune it. Yeah, that one's way harder.
Front shove master. So we're in Long Beach right now and we're trying to find some wooden ledges that are somewhere near this metro station here. Oh, there they are right there. Yeah, this is them. This is us. No. It's I hope so not. funny up there. I hope they're not. I hope they're skates not. They've only been here like a week or something, no? Yeah, they're brand new. Oh my god. These are the uh, ledges here we're going to skate. And it's shaded. We're in a nice shaded area. Check it out. How did it go? How's it feel? Oh, there you go. So this ledge has been hit a fair amount already. You can tell how waxed up it is. But yeah, it must be made of some like really dense wood if it grinds. Check it out. Slide the top one. Top tier. You won't. Let's see. Get up there. See what happens. Oh yeah, you got that. Yeah, no, you're you're fine. Up there is probably safe. Fun fact: I broke my rib on oh. the bottom stair. How'd you do it? Tried to five zero and I missed. Back or front? Front. Broke my rib. You landed here or there? I elbowed myself in the rib. And it broke. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man. It was great. Oh, you almost did a first try. Wow. I think it's not low. Bin chickens. Bin chicken is an ibis. Do you have ibises here? <laughs> no, it's a like, ibis? It's like a big bird like this, 
They're bold and they have a long nose and they always dig for bins. We call them bin chickens. No, we don't have those. Oh. I thought that was gonna be a pun like, you've been chicken or something. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Still going. What about the rest of the skate park? Sean's gonna learn front feeble back 180. So Apparently. just ollie into a front feeble? Yeah. And then. You got it. <laughs> Simple as that. Yep. All right. Uh, let me come this way. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Need speed. Yeah, just push it. <laughs> you, you did it! That come easier than I thought it would. Yeah, they're really easy. If you focus on making a grind and not the 180, it just happens. Do, do a not bad one. A better one? Yeah. Can I see that one? Just wanna... Solid! Do it again! Yeah. Back one the curb? It's not wax, but I'll show you. Tell me if I can get in. All right. That's actually a good way to think of it. Think of it as if you're gonna like pop out, like half cab out, and where your body weight would be to make that happen is where your body weight needs to be to slide good. Okay. That's better. That was better. It wasn't like that though, it was like a... It was a little flaccid, but you did it. Yeah. So come the end of May, I'm gonna be here for six months. So within that six months, I've been able to skate a whole lot more and I've been able to progress a whole lot more as well, I think, personally. If it wasn't for me being able to skate more with different people, especially skating of Dan, pushing me all the time, I wouldn't have progressed the way that I have. And I feel, I don't even feel like I've progressed at skating. I just feel like I'm learning new ways to skate, if that makes sense. Like I'm learning new techniques for skateboarding in a way. Whereas I am learning new things, but it's kind of like, if you apply the same fundamental basics of skateboarding, like weight, and body position and stuff, different ways, you can learn a whole bunch of new stuff. It's quite, it's all quite relative really, if you have the basics down, you can just add on and go from there. But um, yeah, California, being in California, living and skating here and everything has definitely changed my life in a way. Like I've been blessed with so much opportunity out here. It's kind of like, wow, why didn't I do this sooner? You know, like I feel like when I was back in Sydney, I could kind of work towards what I am doing and create, but I was kind of, I kind of had one hand behind my back, so I can only use like one hand kind of thing. I felt like I was kind of trapped in a way, not trapped, but like I felt like I was restrained in a way, whereas out here, I feel so much more opportunistic about everything like YouTube, skateboarding, everything else, everything's great. If I hadn't have come out here, I would have regretted it. If I stayed in Sydney, I would have regretted it because I would be like, there's so much more out there and I want it, you know? I was stuck in Sydney, trying to do the most that I could with what I had and everything felt like the biggest effort ever because I was trying so much and I didn't really have much people to bounce off that were doing the same thing, whereas out here, Dan and I will go and skate multiple times a week. I'll film him, he'll film me, and we'll have a bunch of fun, get a bunch of clips, and it's like a great thing. I almost said relationship, like Dan and I in a relationship, but 
you know what I mean? Like it just feels so much better out here. So I'm definitely trying to stay out here forever. Like I do want to go back to Sydney to see my mum and stuff, obviously, but with COVID and everything else, I don't know how soon that'll be. This time last year was when the slab was in full swing and I think I had like 3,000 subscribers, but now I'm at like 22.5, pushing to get to 25K. So I feel like all my little wins are all adding up and all my effort and stuff, it's all going to a common goal and it's all gonna pay off. That's how I feel in my head anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on because this is a long video already. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for all you guys' support. And um, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. But until then, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers for watching. He said it's almost like Vice City. Yeah, just all the, all the people walking. <laughs> I just spawned out of nowhere. <laughs>